Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and what I'm going to talk in this video, I'm going to solve UPSC Mathematical Optional Question Paper, right? So, UPSC Mathematics makes subject, a optional subject, there are many subjects, there is one subject is Mathematics, that's what I'm going to discuss in this part of the because from last uh, 3 to 4 months, someone has requested that UPSC Mathematics and said, please do something because we feel very 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 difficulty that how one should approach the problem because you know in UPC mathematics the questions pattern the, uh, the way they ask the question is very easy at the same time they also expect that you should also answer the question in a simple way though you don't have to write any garbage thing right it should be straightforward clear cut answer okay, this is the group this is uh, abelian this is the proof this is the ring this is the interval domain this is the proof this is ring, this ring is filled, this is the proof. These two ideals are maximal, this is the proof. This sequence is Cauchy, this is the proof. This function is continuous, this is the proof in terms of epsilon and delta. But what is it? In, uh, due to lack of knowledge, due to lack of guidance, we are not able to prove some easy section, some easy question in a simple way. We are going to create a, some mess on it. So this is not the case in mathematics. If your approach is correct, if your direction is correct, if you know, look, this is the way to do, you can easily answer and you are going to score very good marks in UPSC Mathematics, right? If you have written correctly, in a simple way, you will get 100%. If you are not written clearly, you will get 0 marks. So, Mathematics is the only push, only subject where you have a chance to score 100% and Mathematics is the only subject where you have a chance to score 0 marks. So these are the two criteria, right? So you should think positive, yes, I have to score good marks. And that's the best option in UPSC if you opt mathematics, right? It doesn't matter what is your background, you are from arts background or commerce background, this only needs your interest. If you have interest, you are definitely going to score. Fine, it will take time, right? It will take time. But what is going to be deal with it, right? So if you have interest, you should definitely opt it. Whatever guidance will be necessary, I will give you, it doesn't matter, okay? So let's understand this question first. Is that how to do these questions? And in coming exams, we should not repeat those mistakes and we are able to write in a simple way, right? Because UPSC don't need a hardcore mathematics cup fan. They don't need that. They just need to write everything in a simple way. Critical thinking, I mean, the syllabus is very basic, syllabus is very simple and they expect the answer is also simple because questions are very simple, straightforward questions, okay? So let's understand how one should write answer in UPSC in a simple way with this question, okay? In, come, in future videos, I am also going to upload more and more about UPSC that how one should answer the question, what are the syllabus pattern, where one should focus and all that. In coming few videos, I will do that, okay? But let's first understand here how one should approach this particular problem because you know in algebra section real, complex or linear these are the four which are very scoring at the same time dynamics, statistics, etc. Right? Bohut sari or physics ke kuch kuch fluid mechanics these are the sections these are very easy but people used to confuse and all that how to approach that I'm going to do that okay so let's understand so this particular question asks in UPSC Mathematics Question Paper 2017 This is Paper Number 2 Section A Question 1 And the Question 1 ka B So Question is very simple Let G be a group of order N So that G is isomorphic to a group of S I told you The question in UPSC is very simple Straightforward What is the question? G is a group of order N ka. Then they are asking That show that G is isomorphic to a group of S Question is simple, they expect you should also write the answer in a simple way, right? Let's understand this. So I always start, how to think this kind of problem? What is the approach to do this kind of problem? You know, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, okay, this is the, uh, I know this result. But sometimes they stuck that right in a simple proof. Let me write that. So what you have to do? What you have to do, what they expect, you have to find a subgroup, is the subgroup SL such that G is isomorphic to H. 
when order of g is equal to n. That's what they are asking, right? First of all, you should understand that uh, what we have to do in the exam. This is the thing we have to do. We have to find the subgroup of S n such that g is going to be isomorphic to H. What is g? G is a group of order n. That's all. So how much you do this kind of problem, right? I get it. पहले जी को आप लिस्ट करो लेट जी बी दिस ग्रुप ठीक है नाउ फॉर ए फॉर ए बिलोंग्स टू जी डिफाइन फॉर ए मैपिंग फ्रॉम जी टू जी बाई कैसा डेफिनेशन है फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स ठीक है डिफाइन दिस मैप सो क्लेम What is our claim that phi a is one one and on two? Just prove that this is one one on two. This just need one one to prove it. Phi a is one one. What is the proof that phi a is one one? Phi a of x one equal to phi of a x two. That implies a of x one equal to a of x two. That implies x one is equal to x two. What is that? By left cancellation law. What is how this came here? By left cancellation law. That's what you have to do. So phi is one one. Phi a is on two. What is the proof? Take any element from this. So you have to prove this map is on two. What you have to do? Pick any element b from c. Belongs to g. That implies this a inverse b also belongs to g because g is a group. A belongs to G, B belongs to G. G should be closed with respect to inverse and multiplication and all that. So this, I define this element x. Therefore, phi of A x is nothing but A x by definition, and this is A inverse B, and that's nothing but this. So phi is one two. So hence the claim. So my claim was that phi is one one on two. Step forward. This is one one and on two, right? So given the group. With this element, I am able to construct a function from z to g, which is one one and on two. Now, what you have to do is now <coughs> consider this set S G. What is S G? S G is nothing but the collection of all all bijections from z to z. Correct? Consider the collection of all bijections from z to z. Clearly, this is a group. Clearly, S G is a group. Under what operation? Under composition of functions. Under composition of. Under composition of functions. ठीक है? So, एक बार और मैं ये और करता हूँ. अभी तक so far हमने क्या किया? देखिए, अभी मैं exam hall में तो नहीं हूँ. And either you, you, you are also not in the exam hall. Now let's understand what I have done so far. What I have done, you have given me a finite group. Let's name this group as this. Pick an element A belongs to G. Define this mapping. I have proved this function is one one and one two. With using that intuition, I have constructed this set S G. What is the S G? S is the collection of all bijections from Z to Z. This forms a group under composition of functions. Even if you don't know, this I leave as an exercise. Please prove this. ठीक है ना? But in exam hall you don't have to do. You have to just use this reasoning. ठीक है? Now I'm going to erase this. Fine. So now I'm going to erase. What is that? <coughs> Let me erase. So what I have done so far? So what I have done? So S is a group. Now it is clearly that clearly S is isomorphic to S. See, G has n symbols and S n is a permutation on एक से लेकर एन सिंबल्स सो जी एन सेट विथ एन सिंबल्स दे आर सेम सेट मीन्स देर इज ए बाइजेक्शन हेंस टू दिस टू ग्रुप आर आइसोमोफिक ग्रुप ठीक है द सिंपल नाउ डिफाइन मैपिंग डिफाइन फाइव नथिंग बट जी से एस जी वॉट इज दैट फाइव ऑफ ए यू शुड डिफाइन एज फाइव सब ट्रेन Phi is one one and group homomorphism. ठीक है ना? Phi one one होगा और group homomorphism होगा. Why this is one one? Proof of claim. 
phi is 1 1. What is the proof of equal 1? Right? What is the proof of equal 1? What is the proof of the uh, function of this is 1 1? Phi of a1 is equal to phi of a2. Right? Hai na? 1 1 ka definition chalo. Do element to thaw. Do images same below. What is this? This is nothing but. Aap isko bhej ka rahe Phi sub a1 and phi sub a2. Where these two elements lie. This two element lies out sg. Correct? Hai na? G is later SG because this is one one function, so phi a belongs to SG. Clear over? Okay? So now this, this, these two functions are same. These two functions are same. This comes with the phi a one acting on x is equal to phi of a two acting on x. For all x belongs to G. Correct? So this comes with the a one x is equal to a two x. For all x belongs to G. Correct? Hai? Now my left hand solution now. This is nothing but a1 is equal to a2. So my, my function phi is 1. Well, see, these are the straightforward thing you should write. Of suppose exam my time compared here. If you, you are going to attempt this is the last question, you should clearly write that phi is 1. Then we will give you the marks. Okay? But even though if your hand is very smooth, if your concept is very clear, if you know how to write, automatically you will write fast. Then it will not take more than 30 seconds to write. Clearly? Because I am dealing with, with, with you, I am saying everything, that's why it's taking time. But once you will write, it will not take more than 30 seconds. Correct? Okay. So now, what I have done? <clears throat> so what I have proved so far, that I have proved that my this function from uh, G to SG, this is 1, 1. Now I have to only think proof is, phi is homomorphism. For homomorphism, what I have to do? Phi of a1 is equal to a2. I have to prove what is the definition. But what is that phi of a1, a1, a2? Because this is a function in this. What is the definition? This is nothing but a1, a2 acting on S. But by associativity law, because we are working over the proof, by associativity law, this is equal to this. That implies phi of a1 acting on a2x. And what is the definition of it? This is nothing but phi of a1 and phi of a2 acting on s. And this is nothing but phi of a1 composed phi of a2 acting on s. So I have proved these two functions are same and this is true for all x belongs to G. That implies phi of a1 a2 is same as phi of a1 composed phi of a2. And this is nothing but phi of a1 composed phi of a2. So what we have proved, this is nothing but phi of a1 composed phi of a2. See, these are the small, small things you should know, right? But anyway, if you don't know, it's not a big deal. You should learn. That's the only way. That's the only way. And for learning, we need interest, right? Because you basically need the interest of your subject. That's important. Because there, they are going to ask very simple questions. Okay? okay? So what I have proved so far, just recall the overview. I have constructed this set. Through that, I have defined function phi a from z to z that I have proved that's 1 1 amount to, hence phi a belongs to sg. Now I have defined again a function from g to sg via a phi of a is equal to phi sub a and that I have proved 1 1, that function is 1 1 and this is preserve the group operations and this is homomorphism. So what I have proved, so this, so using this, that's that's now I am going to realize that so the function phi is 1 1 and preserve group operation. Okay? Now, I will apply my fundamental theorem of groups. So, this is 1 1 and group homomorphism. Okay? So, by fundamental so by fundamental theorem of group homomorphism okay? So, I the fundamental theorem of group homomorphism what is that? G by kernel of phi is isomorphic to phi of G and phi of G. This is the group of SG. Correct? If there is a homomorphism in any group, se another group Z1 to Z2, then the image of a group is a subgroup of that G2. So phi of Z1 is a subgroup of Z2. So this is the fundamental theorem. Z by kernel of phi is isomorphic to phi of Z and phi of Z is isomorphic. This has also asked. The proof of this has also asked in UPSC. Can you believe this proof? Whatever I am using the fundamental theorem, they have also asked in UPSC. Prove this. If phi is a homomorphism, 
from Z1 to Z2 proved that Z1 by kernel of I is isomorphic to phi of Z1. I mean simple proof, right? But anyway, this is the idea right now, so far. Now, let's come to here. What is the kernel? Phi is 1, 1. If phi is 1, 1, that means kernel is trivial. That means G is isomorphic to phi of G. And phi of G is a subgroup of SG. But SG is isomorphic to S. Correct? Huh? So therefore, i.e. G is isomorphic to phi of G. And phi of G is isomorphic to a to a subgroup of S. Correct? Huh? How many have proved here? The G is isomorphic to phi G by fundamental theorem. And we know that phi G is a subgroup of S G. And previously we have shown that S G is a subgroup of S N. Hence, this is a isomorphic to this. This is a subgroup of this. And this is isomorphic to this. Hence, G is a isomorphic to a subgroup of S N. This is called transtabulation on groups. If G1 is isomorphic to G2, G2 is isomorphic in Z3, then G1 is isomorphic to Z3. It's a simple proof, right? So isomorphism is an equivalence relation. Hence, my G is isomorphic to a subgroup of SN. Correct? And that is my subgroup, whatever I am demanding my H. Here I am demanding H subgroup of SN. That's nothing but phi G. Because phi G is a subgroup of SG. SG is isomorphic to SN. Hence, phi G must have a representative in SN. Let's call it H. So, G is isomorphic to that H. Hence, G is isomorphic to a subgroup of SN. That's it. Okay? My it takes, uh, for me, I, I think 10 or 15 minutes. Doesn't matter. But once you will write, if everything is crystal clear, it will not take more than 3 to 4 minutes. Trust me. Even though less, lesser than that time, you will able to write. Because I have to explain to you. That's why it is taking clear time. But once you will write by your own, because in exam you don't have to explain, you just have to write. It will not take more than 3 minutes. Correct? Anna? Everything, not more than 3 minutes. So for that, you need the crystal clear concepts. That is the important. Mathematics make a rut low. There are some subjects that you can rut, but mathematics is, you don't have to mug and all that. You should need the crystal clear concept. If this is the way. This is I have to write. This is the precisely argument I have to articulate. How to articulate? That needs the guidance, right? Then there is a guidance because these are the few sections where often students used to make mistakes. Yes, your fluid dynamics is very good. Your OD is very good. Your PD is very good. But what about the other subjects, right? So I'll make on all videos and make it very clear. But even though if your basic is not good, something is written here. Think about it. I am going to help you from my side as much as possible. Okay? But anyway, uh, thank you for watching my videos and at least you got the idea that we have to do it. It is important. Okay? In the time, if you have to do it, fine. Give the time. No problem at all. But at least you should learn. Important is to learn how to do it. That is important. Because in UPC, that's what they need. Okay? So I hope you got the idea. Thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much.